Now I just want to welcome y'all to the shootout. Normally we start this shootout with a prayer, but today I'm going to start it out with a poem that I read last night. And it goes something like this. It was battered and scarred, and the auctioneer thought it was scarcely worth the while to spend much time on the old violin, but he held it up with a smile. What am I to bid for the old violin? Who will start the bidding for me? A dollar, a dollar, who will make it two? Two dollars, who will make it three? Three dollars once, three dollars twice, going for three, but no. From the back of the room, a gray-haired man came forward and took up the bow, and wiping the dust from the old violin and tightening up all the strings. He played a melody, pure and sweet, as the caroling angel sings. The music closed, and the auctioneer, with a voice that was quiet and low, said, what am I to bid for the old violin? Who will start the bidding for me? A thousand dollars, and who will make it two? Two thousand, and who will make it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice. Going and gone, said he. The crowd cheered, and some of them said, we do not quite understand. What changed its worth? Came the reply, "'Twas the touch of the master's hand. As many a man with his life out of tune and battered and scarred with sin is auctioned cheap by a thoughtless crowd, much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he shuffles along. He's going once, he's going twice, he's going and almost gone. The master comes, and the thoughtless crowd can never quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that is brought by the touch of the master's hand. And now, give it up for my little brother Ty. Hi, I'm Ty Kennard and I'm eight years old. Susie, I brought you a chrysanthemum mom. Well, thank you, Ty, but this is the rose. Now look, Susie, it's a chrysanthemum mom. Ty's got thorns and petals all over it. This is a rose. Now look, Sissy, I know my flowers. It's a chrysanthemum, Mom. Well, if it's a chrysanthemum, Mom, then just spell it. S-K-A, no. C-K-A, no. K-A-C, no. I guess you're right, Sissy. It's just a plain old rose. <laughs> well, we really appreciate y'all coming out. We just want to welcome y'all. What is it, Ty? I know where Jesus lives. Where does Jesus live? In my bathroom. Now, Ty, what makes you think that Jesus lives in your bathroom? Because every morning my dad keeps hollering, Jesus Christ, come out of that bathroom. <laughs> well, we don't know if y'all notice all these farm animals we have out here. We have horses and cats and dogs and chickens and guineas. And I'm going to get me a billy goat. Well, where are you going to keep a billy goat? Under my bed. What about the odor? I guess you's going to have to get used to it. <laughs> Well, Mama's not going to let you get a billy goat. I got a pig in out in the barn. What are you doing with the pig? Teaching it karate. Well, what are you going to name it? Pork chop. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ty, have you ever considered getting a normal pet? I got one. What kind? A dog. What's his name? Elvis. Why did you name him Elvis? Because he ain't nothing but a hell dog. <laughs> I had to take him to the vet the other day. Well, what did the vet do to him? Well, let me just say, he went at a stud and came out a dud. <laughs> <laughs> I think he ran away. Well, what are you going to do to find him? Put, I put him out in the paper. Well, what did the ad say? Here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Talking hard, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to go over a couple of safety notes with you. First of all, we do have to familiarize yourself with the exits we do have in the arena. First of all, the exit directly behind you that you came in through, and the exit directly in front of you. In the unlikely event of emergency, please move to the nearest exit. Please silence all cellular paging and any other electronic devices that you may have brought with you. Please stay behind the security screen at all times, which is there for your safety. In the most unlikely event of emergency, you can use your seat cushion as a flotation device. They're new seat belts, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, folks, it looks like it's about time to get this show on the road, so now I'm going to turn it back over to my little brother, Ty. Mm -hmm. 